Hello once again and welcome to Clinic Annex with Dr. Bose de Adibite. A few months ago, I was at a pharmacy to buy some drugs and then a woman walked in with a request. Give me a strong antibiotic, she asked the pharmacist. And then the pharmacist politely asked, what would you need it for? She said, I have intense body itching, so give me a strong antibiotic. So the pharmacist said, no, you don't need an antibiotic for that. I'll give you what you need. And she said, no, it is my money, so I insist, give me a strong antibiotic. The pharmacist said no. And then the woman walked away because she was going to try another pharmacy. I commended the pharmacist because that is appropriate antibiotic stewardship. Yes, you don't just dish out antibiotics to people. Two things were wrong with what that woman did. First, she self-prescribed antibiotics. She had a condition and then she thought that antibiotic would be needed for it. That was wrong. Self-prescription of antibiotics is an improper use of antibiotics. Number two, she was requesting for a strong antibiotic. Antibiotics are graded, yes, and the strong ones are reserved for more severe infections. So if at the slightest symptom, she wanted a strong antibiotic, if she develops a severe infection, what will she use? Definitely that request was wrong. That is the second improper use of antibiotics. Using antibiotics inappropriately, there is a way you prescribe antibiotics depending on the kind of infection the person has. If the person has an ear infection, it is different from what you likely pre prescribe for a genital infection and it is the antibiotic will be different from what you are likely to prescribe for a skin infection so depending on what somebody has then the antibiotic the choice of antibiotic will differ there are times when all you need is a mild very very mild antibiotic and there are times when you don't even need antibiotics at all now the third improper use of antibiotic is not finishing the dose so ask yourself, when last did you finish the dose of your prescribed antibiotics? Some people um, are prescribed antibiotics for seven days. And there is a reason we prescribe for five, seven days or longer. You know, because we want the bacteria to die. We want the medications to kill the bacteria. But maybe it is meant to kill the bacteria on the seventh day. And on the fourth day, it has weakened the bacteria. Now, because you feel better, because the bacteria is weak, you feel better. And now because you feel better, you stopped the medication. As soon as you stop the medication, the bacteria will begin to recover. And by the time it recovers, it becomes a monster. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, they say, right? So it is with this bacteria. When they don't die and they survive the onslaught from that antibiotic, then they become stronger. When they become stronger and are no longer susceptible to the antibiotic, it can no longer kill them. We say antibiotic resistance has developed and it is a global problem. And it is also a public health concern because if we damage all the antibiotics that we have, ah, that means that microbes will win the war. If they win the war, people will die. So it is important that we don't allow microbes to win the war. And it is in my hands, it is in your hands. So what is the fourth one? The fourth improper use of antibiotic is overuse of antibiotics. There are certain conditions that you don't need antibiotics for. For example, uh, if you have viral infections, like simple common cold. And viral infections have a unique characteristic. They run their course and stop. You know, they are self-limiting. So if it's going to stay for five days, it will stay for five days and go. If it's going to stay for longer, it will stay and then go. But if you continue to use antibiotic for everything, then it is still the same problem, antibiotic resistance. So what is my advice? My advice is that do not put pressure on your doctors to prescribe antibiotics for you. If your condition does not require the use of antibiotics, a doctor will not prescribe it. Number two, if antibiotics are ever prescribed, then please use as prescribed. For the number of 
times in a day and for the number of days in the week. Number three, do not take medications, antibiotics prescribed for another person. Ah, when I was coughing the last time, the doctor gave me this. You can have it. It's my work for you. No, go and get your own prescription. You might not have the same condition that that person has. And even if it is the same condition, the severity may differ. And the medications that you need may be different. Why not see a doctor? Number four, do not use leftover antibiotics. The last time I had this condition, I was prescribed this and I took the complete dose, but it's still remaining some five capsules. No, so you have another condition now and you start taking it. No, it is wrong. It is an improper use of antibiotic. So do not do it. And then prevention is always better than cure. So why don't you live hygienic lives? Wash your hands frequently, do food hygiene, home hygiene, personal hygiene, oral hygiene, so that your need for antibiotic use will be very, very minimal. Now, what are the dangers of overuse of antibiotics or improper use of antibiotics? If you have improper treatment of a condition, for example, there is a throat infection that if you don't treat it properly, it ends up damaging the kidneys. So if on your own, you are treating infections and you treat them improperly, or your doctor is aiding you to treat, but you are not following his instru instructions, then what will happen is you can damage your organs. If you are treating a kidney infection, for example, and you don't take the medications for the number of days you are meant to, it can end up damaging your kidneys. So why not follow instructions strictly? And then if we continue to use antibiotics improperly, then we, they will lose their effectiveness. Once they lose their effectiveness, there will be infection and reinfection, reinfection and reinfection. Some couples are prescribed medications. The wife has completed her own. The husband refused to complete his own. And then the infection becomes a monster in the man. They meet together again. And then she, he reinfects the woman. When he reinfects the woman, the woman keeps saying, I've been treating this infection for four months, for six months. It has not gone. It is your husband that has caused it or the other way around. So it is important that we don't destroy the existing antibiotics by ourselves. If we destroy them, we will have to pay more for antibiotics because even for a simple infection, you might need a very strong antibiotic to care for it. Simple infection. So you might have to pay a lot of money to treat simple infections. Simple infections will now begin to kill people. When can you stop the antibiotics? One is when you are reacting to an antibiotic. It is not just an antibiotic, it can be any medication. If you react badly to a medication, that is its time to stop. For example, if you start itching all over, or your face begins to swell, your tongue begins to swell, or you have patches on your body, then it may be dangerous to continue. Stop and then go to your doctor for help. Sometimes doctors also have to stop the medications or ask you to stop when it appears that it is not working. You have taken it for 72 hours and it is not working but we don't just stop if you were if you are treating an infection we don't just stop we change to another medication so in that case you are not going to be doing it by yourself you are going to be doing it with the help of your doctor those are the times when you can stop a medication or when a medication has been recalled for some reasons you know if the manufacturer says we are recalling this medication it has a contaminant of course you will have to stop right yes so please let us use antibiotics responsibly and the next time you need an antibiotic please see your doctor thanks for watching please share this with everybody it is important so that together we can save lives and do not forget to put your comments and your questions in the comment section or on the whatsapp number showing on your screen i'll make an attempt to answer them also remember that good health is great wealth until i come your way next time Please, let us pay attention to hygiene so that our need for antibiotics will be minimal. I'll see you again. Bye for now.